Hello everyone, today in our series of Docflix's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Heyman Taungalkar. He is a consultant at Hinduja Hospital. Previously, he was the head of Department of Surgery and Department of Uro-Oncology at Tata Memorial Hospital. He has received several awards and accolades. Dr. C.K.P. Menon Award of USI 1993, Rashtri Ratan Award for his outstanding contribution to Uro-Oncology. He has also been awarded, felicitated with an honorary membership of Urological Association of Asia. He has been awarded a gold medal by USI West Zone. He has over 150 publications to his credit. Thank you Dr. Heyman for speaking Thank with you. us today. So what was the unique feature of your talk, Optimizing Outcomes in Invasive Bladder Cancer, uh, today at UCON? Well, I had the privilege to deliver the Dr. Pina Manini Venkateshwara Rao oration. And uh, in this, I highlighted the different approaches that are used to improve the outcomes in invasive bladder cancer. Now, when, to, when we talk about the outcomes, it is not only the survival, but it's also the morbidity and the uh, quality of life of these patients, which, which, which we need to look into. So, to improve the outcomes, we introduce four different approaches. The first is called an early or timely cystectomy for high-risk non-muscle invasive bladder cancers. The second was uh, increasing the radicality of radical cystectomy. The third was doing an extended template lymphadenectomy and fourthly introduction of new adjunct chemotherapy prior to surgery. And for reduction of morbidity of course we have taken a lot of efforts to have a good patient selection and preoperative optimization, good meticulous technique and of course um, obsessive um, uh, kind of control of the post-operative period. As far as the quality of life is concerned, we have also offered our patients bladder conservation. So the organ preservation is very important today in cancer. We have also been doing neobladders, orthotopic neobladders, so that the patient's quality of life is good. And in certain selected patients, even a gynae tract preserving surgery in women who have um, uh, bladder cancer. So, what are the prognostic factors for muscle invasive bladder cancer? Basically, the prognostic factors are whether the lymph nodes are involved or not. That's the most important prognostic factor because it brings down the survival literally by 50%. The second is what is the depth of invasion, whether there is any perivasical spread, whether there is any invasion of the prostate or the seminal vesicles, whether there are any lymphovascular invasion that one can see and whether the, the cut margins are positive surgical cut, the, the surgical cut margins are positive or not. These are all the important uh, prognostic factors in these patients. And when can one make a clinical decision about a uh, cytoreductive nephrectomy in uh, renal cell carcinoma patients? Cytoreductive nephrectomy is basically for patients who have a metastatic renal cell cancer. And um, the value of cytoreductive nephrectomy has been proved basically for clear cell carcinomas of the kidney and which are metastasized mainly to the lungs and to the bones. The maximum impact of cytoreductive nephrectomy is possible when we remove at least 75% to 90% of the total disease volume in the body, what's called a fractional tumor volume. That means if there is a large mass and small metastasis, the impact of cytoreductive nephrectomy will be the highest. While if it's a small mass and large metastasis, the impact is not going to be so much. So in your opinion, which is the most effective therapy for prostate cancer? Well, it depends on the stage of the patient. In early stages, you can have radical prostatectomy, which could be done either by open method or a robotic method. And um, you also have radiation therapy, which in selected patients can give equally good results. When the disease is outside the prostate, you give mainly radiation therapy with hormonal therapy support. And when it becomes metastatic, the hormonal therapy is the mainstay. But in the last couple of years, there have been publications from randomized trials 
which have shown that chemotherapy should be added to radiation to, to the hormonal therapy in patients with metastatic cancer. Sir, what is your opinion on an online platform like Docplexis? How it can benefit urologists in particular? Well, I'm really impressed with Docplexis. I mean, I have been uh, receiving uh, these updates and I think it's a very important tool in today's times for dissemination of knowledge because a person cannot keep pace with the, the, all the new developments that are happening in this field. And if you could have experts talking about only these uh, new developments or advancements, I think it's wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Hemant. We are honored to have you as a member on Docflix. Thank you. Thank you very much. To stay updated on our latest scaled videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy Docflixing!